In this video, we'll solve the following problem. So imagine a situation where there are two goods, X and Y. A's endowment is 25 units of X and 15 units of Y. B's endowment is 15 units of X and 30 units of Y. Let's assume that the price of Y is one and a price of X is uh, one if the individual wishes to sell it and it's uh, three if he wishes to buy it. Suppose that individual B chooses uh, 20 units of X and A uh, does not buy or sell any of the goods, so basically consumes his own endowment. Uh, the question asks that can A and B have the same preference? We'll try and answer this question by plotting this uh, data first. Here is how the problem will look in the graph. Uh, omega A is the endowment of individual A, that's 20 units of X and 15 units of Y. Omega B is the endowment of individual B, that's 15 units of X and 30 units of Y. Price of Y is 1, buying price of X is 3 and the selling price of X is 1. Uh, because of this uh, difference in uh, prices, we are going to get uh, the slope of A's budget line is going to be 1 to the left of the endowment and it is going to be 3 to the right of the endowment because the price ratio at which the trade will take place is 1 to the left of the endowment and it is going to be 3 to the right of the endowment. We are also given that A chooses his endowment point from his budget set so X star Y star is equal to 25 15 okay and we are also provided that uh, the B chooses XB star YB star which is equal to 2015 from his budget set. In this question we would like to know if there exists a utility function maximizing which at A's budget will give us X star Y star as a solution to the utility maximization problem and if you're going to do so on B's budget we are going to get XB star YB star as a solution to the utility maximization problem. Now we will plot indifference curves to get an idea of the preferences that can accomplish this. Okay. So we want to make an indifference curve through this point. That is the highest possible indifference curve through A's budget set. And we would also like to make an indifference curve through XB star YB star, which is the highest possible indifference curve through B's budget set. Okay. And then we would like to see if there exists a utility function which is going to give us that kind of ICs. Okay. We can accomplish uh, this by making an IC which is vertical line above the optimal choice of individual A. So something like this. Okay. And which is a reasonably flat line below the optimal choice of individual A. Okay. Now if you want to make an IC like this this is uh, an optimal bundle. X A star, Y A star is an optimal bundle given the budget set of individual A. Now, we would like to do the similar thing with B's budget set. So if we'll make a vertical line like this above X B star, Y B star, and again a reasonably flat line like this below XB star YB star. So this seems to give us uh, the kind of preferences that we are looking for. Now one of the utility functions that can give us such ICs is the following. UXY equals x plus y so I want a line uh, whose slope is less than the slope of the budget line here okay. so x plus y is going to give you that okay. if y is less than 15 okay, so this is y equal to 15 line so I want below y equal to 15 line uh, a curve which is x plus y equal to constant and x plus 15 if y is greater than or equal to 15. Now this is the utility function which is going to give us these ICs. If you want to write uh, in a more compact way then this utility function is minimum of x plus y comma x plus 15. 
therefore we can conclude that two individuals uh, making uh, x star y star uh, and x b star y b star choices from their respective budget sets can have the same preference okay now what we're going to do is we're going to look for um, another example which is um, a utility function uh, that is differentiable okay and that is also going to accomplish the same task as uh, this particular utility function has done now we are interested in um, uh, indifference curves that are smooth uh, that that uh, the indifference curves that do not have any kinks so uh, basically they look like this note that we would want our utility function to be such that the indifference curve is going to be tangential to B's budget set at X B star Y B star and it is again going to be tangential to A's budget set at X A star Y A star. So that means we want this utility function to satisfy the property that the slope of the indifference curve is going to be minus 3 at X B star Y B star and it is somewhere between minus 1 and minus 3 at X A star Y A star. So We've, we can think of uh, a utility function of this form, okay, x plus c log y will show that this can accomplish, this particular utility function can accomplish uh, this, this particular objective for some value of c, okay. So what is the slope of the IC of a utility function like this? Well, that's going to be y by c and we want that to be 3 at x equal to 20 y equal to 15 this is going to clearly give us the value of c okay so if you're going to plot put 15 here you're going to get uh, c equal to 5 and if you're going to just check whether the slope of the ic at uh, 25 15 is going to lie between 1 and 3 or not, we'll see that it is the case that the slope of the IC is going to be 3 here as well because the value of Y is uh, still 15. So U equal to X plus 5 log Y is the utility function whose chosen points are going to coincide with X star Y star and X B star Y B star at their respective budgets. That's it. Thank you.